tonight a second set of eyes that could make the difference between life and death. Artificial intelligence is now being used to spot the earliest signs of breast cancer. I think artificial intelligence has the ability to make us be even better physicians than we might otherwise be by teaching us what are the risk factors. Dr. Laura Margolies, chief of breast imaging at Mount Sinai, explains that artificial intelligence can spot what the naked eye might not see on a mammogram or flag something suspicious before it becomes a serious cancer risk. It's the AI that does the first pass. It puts a mammogram into one of three buckets. One bucket is the computer thinks there's a very low chance that there's a cancer on here. And then there's a middle range where it says there may be a cancer here, look carefully. And then there's a high range that says there's an elevated risk of cancer on these mammograms, look really carefully at the spots we marked. She says there is always a radiologist who will read the mammogram and adds that there is no substitute for human interaction and expertise. We also look at the patient's history. Do they have a lump? Do they have a family history of breast cancer? And we look at old mammograms. So we take all this data using the AI as an added piece of information and integrate it. Mount Sinai Health System says that they perform about 69,000 mammograms a year. For the last several months, AI has had a look at every single one of them. So here the artificial intelligence algorithm having the experience of looking at hundreds of thousands of similar masses is able to categorize this correctly as benign, therefore suggesting that a biopsy is not needed. This is saying that this patient has an elevated risk of having breast cancer, and then we see it has these tiny little calcifications associated with it. So this is an area of breast cancer. One good part about AI is it doesn't get tired, it doesn't get distracted. There also is a type of error in radiology that we call satisfaction of search, whereby if you find a cancer on one side, you sometimes are less likely to find a second cancer in the other breast or somewhere else in the same breast because you think, oh, I'm done. I found the cancer. I'm done. Dr. Margulies adds that false positives are also sharply reduced, cutting down on the number of callbacks for additional testing and unnecessary biopsies. That was the case for Beata Pezatka. I did my first mammogram about four or five months ago. I was concerned because they found a lump. It said that it's probably not cancerous, but they weren't sure. Pezatka said she was told to wait six months and get tested again. There's this all anxiety waiting for the results and having to repeat the results and then waiting again and it's, it's really emotionally draining. She made another appointment for a second mammogram and this time AI was in place to read it. They came in after the test and they said we used this thing and it showed benign and I'm like, I wasn't even aware of that. Doctors say it is still imperative to keep up with yearly screenings and mammograms. Mount Sinai does not add any additional charge for using AI, but others do, so check with your provider.